Hello. Hmm. Just here listening to music. <laughs> I turned on the thing. I was like, oh, no, let's just chill and listen to Dwarf Fortress music. Uh, ah, uh, more Dwarf Fortress. I'm gonna keep keep fiddling with volume. Um, yeah, Dwarf Fortress. Tonight's Monday. Uh, let's just do this. We'll see if we'll see if the cat ends up in her spot. She's she's right here. Just off camera. But the place where she can be in camera is like five inches away. So we'll see if she shows up. Over. Oh yeah. Um as is now tradition to no come on. Thank you. The now traditional opening to these streams. Uh I did some more blueprints. I I designated some more some more digging. Um uh, I'll, I'll show those off real quick. Uh, there's a couple things in our lower fortress that we hadn't done quite yet. Things that are upstairs but aren't downstairs. One of them's the library. That's what this is. Um, it looks funky because I want it to, ultimately. Um, we're going to have these little walls in here. Um, and then these, these are the stacks. These will be where all the bookshelves are. Um, on either sides of these walls with little one tile passages in between so all these will be like bookshelves like a like a library um, and then chairs and tables will be on these ends and then in this middle bit here i'm going to put some of the uh some craft work workshops um and some stockpiles so that our our writing materials like paper and the actual raw stuff um uh, Paper will still be made up at the um, main crafting floor, but things like the choirs, binding the books, um, those all those steps will be done in the library itself. So there's going to be some stockpiles for paper, and then they'll turn them into choirs, and then the choirs will get stored in the chests inside of the library, and then once they're written on, they'll come back in here to be bound, and then they'll be placed in the library. That's the idea, at least. Um, so hopefully it kind of keeps everything a little contained and makes it kind of maybe nice looking. Um, the real reason why it looks funky is because the uh, DF hack tool updated. And because we, we had a Dwarf Fortress update, and then immediately after a, a game update, the, the hack will stop working until they update the, the hack, because that's how, that's how that works. Um, so last week we didn't have DF hack, but we have it back. Hooray! Um, but not only that, it came with a new tool called the Dig Tool, and I, this is mostly the result of me wanting to play around with the Dig Tool. Um, we'll probably see it more around going forward. Um, the main reason why it's nice, you can just go into GUI Dig. Um, and then okay, let's off auto commit. But like, hey, look, I have I have a, a thing here. I got I have little corners where I can drag it around and do what I want. But also, it can just be shapes. Can do whatever shape, and then we can do rows. Uh, you can change the spacing on them. You can also just click on all these. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, and then you can have... You can do inverted stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, you can also do hollow, which is what I ended up doing. And then you can uh, increase the thickness of your ring. Um, and then you commit it. And then, look, it's, it's a designation. So that's only blowing my mind slightly now but that's that's quite nice the other thing that i like EF hack can make windows that you can drag and, and stuff and click on and i just right click and dismiss things are getting very fancy very quickly which i'm happy about um but there's our library it's gonna be on the same level as our guild halls which is just above our main fancy floor 
this should all be the same. We're going to keep working on our glass. And then he's just going to take off. Yeah. Goodbye. Um, the other thing that I did, if so this is kind of the bottom of our fancy fortress area. We come up to the top, just below cave layer one, here. Um, some, some more stuff. This is kind of our entrance. This is the, the path that leads up to the surface, a big wide ramp. And then down further, this goes to our um, our trade depot down below. So this will be kind of our, our main entrance for people coming in off the surface. This is just people coming to the fortress and coming in the front door. This will be the front door. They'll be covered in traps. We already got a handful of traps here. Um, but then this is going to be a nice long corridor, and then these are going to be arrow slits, fortifications, so that um, if I need to you know, close a door here and close a door here and just trap some people in there, then I can have soldiers stationed in here and start, you know, kind of shooting at them through the wall. Um, this will be like the, the last line of defense, aside from like a solid door, um, for for any sieges trying to get into our fortress proper. Um, then the rest of this down here is basically military stuff that we're relocating from upstairs. These will be the barracks themselves. Uh, we have two for our squads, and then I think this is going to be our guard, our ca castle guard, whatever they're called. Um, and then we have space for more squads if we want to expand, which we will probably do at some point, maybe. <laughs> um, this is going to be a storage stockpile for weapons and, and armor and, and such. This is going to be our new cage stockpile. Um, you can see there's some, some channel designations in here. We're going to do the same thing that we uh, did upstairs, um, where caged creatures will be stored here, and then there'll be little holes in there, and then there's a space underneath where I can station soldiers in here and then have people toss you know, goblins and, and fish people into the pit, and then we just kill them. Um, so this is the same thing that we're doing upstairs, we're just going to do it down here now. And then uh, this will be our jail. Um, we have six jail cells upstairs, which has been empty so far, realistically. But I've noticed that our justice system, fortress guard, they want 18. I don't know why howling out there. I don't know why we would want a whole that many, but it seems that they, I think they're just asking for 10% of our population. Um, so since we're capped at 200, I'm going to make two, I'm going to make 20 uh, jail cells, essentially. And then if we need to jail 10% of our population, then we need to be having a talk with some of our dwarves, but you know, it'll make the castle guard happy at least to have them, so whatever we can do that we have plenty of space at this point um, and then these are going to be training rooms um probably like a, a general training quarters and then a ranged uh you know arrow archery range that's the word one of those uh we'll probably go over here um so that'll be a bunch of military stuff and then up here will be our new hospital um, it's located above our bathhouse not directly above there's i'll have to you know channel out a bunch of stuff here as well to make it actually go through uh, but we have well access here this is all this is just a nice cistern here um so once we get this you know dug out to the point where it's a functional well we have a well right on top of our our hospital separated out into a couple of different wings try and keep things separated and we can make some some defenses in here and some doors and, and you know lockable gates and such um no reason <laughs> um there are some times where you the 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 danger can come from inside the house sometimes specifically the hospital um we've had two incursions with uh wear creatures one just last stream, we had a wear opossum show up. Um, we've been lucky so far. We haven't had any uh, wear 
rare creature outbreaks. But it's absolutely a thing that can happen. It destroys forts all the time. Um, so this is mostly for if someone gets injured by a rare creature, and then they get brought to the hospital. I'm going to put in some gates in here. Hopefully we don't lock in too many people <laughs> unintentionally, but lock them in for a month. And the ones who go nuts go nuts, and the ones who don't don't, and then they can come out. And then I'll probably put in a bunch of like cage traps and, and weapon traps in here just just in case. Um, but this is also now conveniently located basically next to our entrance. This is also just below Cave Layer 1, which is another place where things happen. Um, all of our cave fish people things happen in uh, Cave Layer 1, and that is like right here. So. So yeah, uh, that's where we're at. Um, I made all of these as just normal designations, which may or may not have been smart. Might trim this a little bit. Just for, for now, so we don't try to dig too many things all at once. Um, this. I do want to dig these are kind of the priority. That's not too bad. And then we'll we'll do hospital. And oh and then this stairwell. I'm gonna add this stairwell. Hopefully I can connect it to here. Um I think I have to build. I have to construct. Um, construct stairs. This hidden. Maybe if we dig from this, yeah. Weird. Um, hopefully we can connect those. But then that'll be our most direct route from the barracks area, where soldiers will be chilling here when they're on duty, in theory. And then you can come straight down this ladder. And then this is our trade depot area right here. They can come down here, up here, and then they can station into their little, little hidey hole next to the trade depot. That's the idea. Um, then again, gates. And close things off in here if we want to. Hopefully that'll all. Hopefully that will work out nicely. Um, we have dug out a bunch of bedrooms. Done a lot of things. Look at all these bones. We have more bones than we know what to do with. Is someone carving bones? Make shell crafts doing anything here you're making shell crap um are you a normal thing no you're just doing that let's do something similar you're making totems or out of skulls okay let's add i mean we can make bone crafts no reason not to I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, yeah, well... As long as we have the stuff. Yeah, that should be fine. You're not taking normal stuff, you're just making totems and bone crafts. So you're making shell crafts. And those all come from here, and that should all be fine. Get more statues. Oh, uh, we are out of wood. I told people to chop some wood. Does that already happen? These trees are gone. <laughs> um, anything? There was another stockpile up here. 
Nope. Okay. We need to chop more wood. Um, that's totally fine, though. Chop some of these. I'll just wait. Yeah, dragonfly. Well, the attack is back. Um, how about there is an auto chop? Imagine we want gooey auto chop. Let's take a look. I've never actually tried this one, so let's let's see. Auto chop is disabled. Target number of logs two hundred. That's quite a few. Um, okay, so I need to make a burrow. Okay. We'll chop any accessible trees on the map. High burrows with no trees, high burrows with no chop clear order. Designate trees for chopping now. Undesignate all time. Okay. Usable logs in stock, zero. Noted. <laughs> Approximate logs left in accessible trees. 10,000? That's a lot. From trees designated zero. Approximate logs from designated trees zero. That's a handy thing to know. Total trees harvested 34. Is that a hit? Interesting. Okay. Well. Let's make a burrow for chopping then. Mm, just within eyesight of our our guardhouse should be fine, right? Yeah, I mean we have we have plenty of trees. I do want to keep the area immediately around the guardhouse. Uh, a free of trees, so you don't accidentally end up with, like, a branch overhanging a wall, and then a goblin climbs up the tree and into your fortress. That's generally something to be avoided. Um, we'll, we'll call this... Trees to chop. Nobody's assigned to it, so that's fine. Control shift B. Gooey to chop. Now, trees to chop. Burrow a trees to chop. Allow auto chop to chop trees in this burrow. On. Cut down all trees. Protect trees that produce brewable items off. I think everything's dead. Um, this would be a very good thing in other biomes, other fortresses. Um, cause there's like fruit and, and seed and like berries and all sorts of cool things that can come from trees. But, so you want to leave like the trees that give cool things, but we don't have any of those. Um, so I'm just going to cut, cut all the trees up to our, I assume this just cuts everything immediately. Well, there's 53 trees in here right now. Um, target number of logs. I'm going to say... That's weird. I'm going to say 100, not... Not 1,200, not 2,001. Oh my goodness. 100. Uh, okay, total trees designated 3. Which will give us 139 wood. Bonkers. Oh, but I like that. I like that it's not going to chop way more trees than I need. Um. wonder which three it designated. Uh, can't scroll and such. Um, okay. Hi, creature. <laughs> um, I 
Meh. Meh. Uh, so I'll enable it, right? I think that's all I need to do. I have three marked, supposedly. I wonder which three. I expected to start from like top left or something. Oh, here we go. There's one. There's another. No, oh, it really just kind of picked three, didn't it? That's kind of nice though. I won't just clear cut. You doing just storing stuff now um yeah okay so there's there's auto chop uh cave crocodile versus crundle that's cool fairness of letter planned well that was one thing uh Messenger. I want to make a messenger. We have a messenger. I'll send my messenger on a mission. This is apparently how you use messenger. You was too cute. Um, I want to send a message to our, our holdings. We have a we have a site over here. Pass off our. Who's our, who's our person? Onget. Onget is our messenger. Make request of stockade dog. One messenger, no messengers traveling. Who are you? Okay. I mean, there was some reference to being able to request people on sites to become citizens. I'm, I think I can could ask this person to come here. Not that I need to, they're not very good at anything. Uh, but now I want to see... I Okay. These are... What are they? Nations. Use. This is... Okay. <laughs> we'll see if that does anything. Um, in theory, our messenger is being sent on a mission. I wonder if we can see that happen. On get. Smooth wall. Oh, we have some workshop stuff to rearrange as well. We'll get there. And you have a pet dog, too. Yeah, so now they'll, they'll all smooth out these walls. We can turn them into fortifications. Oh, there we go. Oh, but again, these are ant people way down below. I apparently just get to see now? I don't know why it's revealing them to me. Kind of feels like I have someone down here, but... That shouldn't be true. No one hiding in a tree up here? Oh. Here we go. Uh, 
okay, that's all fine, that's all fine. And people will run around killing the Crundles. What's going to be tricky is that at some point I'm going to want to go in there to, uh, we got some of these pillars just below our throne room for entirely cosmetic reasons, but I will want to do that. Also, we had some more statues to play. Mandated goods, okay. Sterling. A mosquito. Dwarves. Gotten uh -huh. beasts. A specific person? I guess. Um, and then the rest of these are porcelain. Yeah. Uh, two, three, four, five, probably. And then our the rest of our statues. Well, we'll save them for like here. Here, for that matter, I do want I want the library, but I also want all these guild halls. Assign them all at once. It'll be confusing if I try to do it halfway now. But. Okay, bye. Queen wants rings. Hooray. Rings will just happen. Um, gauntlet should already be happening. Or not. Did this get rearranged? No. We've just completed something. Okay. Hatch covers and doors, that's right. We're doing all our silk stuff. Making glass, we're making pearlash. How is our pearlash? We will continue to make pearlash. And we're only making five a month. Right. I think I want to make them faster than that, but I don't know that we have the capacity to. I'll leave it, I'll leave it at five. But anyway, uh, I want to make gone. you wanted, right? Three gauntlets. Rings will happen. That's fine. Okay. And then on our craft floor ultimately I want to move all this stuff and move it over here. I think. These are just farmer's workshops. Yeah, let's Might even the uh, farmer, that one. And I've just been using my granite. Mm. 
Might even do nine here. And then we can use this space for our millstones. Because why not? Uh, granite. Two. We'll start with six. That should be fine. Three. Works well. In here. You're still in here. Oh well. Um, the other thing that I that occurred to me with our plants. What are you doing? Just okay. hanging out. Um, an issue that I've had in previous versions, and I don't know if it's still a thing or if you can still fix it the same way, um, but seed stockpiles with barrels can be a little weird sometimes. Um, because seeds are stored inside bags and then the bags go inside the barrel, and sometimes people can have a hard time taking jobs successfully. Yes, you'll get a lot of cancellation spam. Um, so the way you used to fix that is by just forbidding the barrels, and then you'll end up with just a whole bunch of individual uh, bags in here. I wonder if that's even enough space. <laughs> um, well, we can also, we can do like, this could be expanded if we want. Um, We'll see if that's necessary, but they should unpack all those into into bags, and hopefully that'll help them plant things more efficiently or effectively. It's cool to see the plants growing now, though. You, what are you doing? Plant seeds. I was gonna go haul a porcelain crown. You are. Story. Okay. These are being planted. Not not working. Fermentable things, okay. Oh, glass blocks, hooray! Okay, and then speaking of stockpiles, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> this no where are you how can you be having a bad time in such a wonderful fortress someone's someone's coming to wash up that what's going on Anyway, oh look. Oh, you're stumbling around obliviously in the church. Okay. Look at all the amazing things you can just look at though. How is that not making everything better? Um, great intuition, willpower, and a good feel for social relationships. Always acts with mercy and compassion at the forefront of her considerations. A strengthening after experiencing trauma in 107. 
and she is conflicted by this since she sees these as these tendencies as an impediment to the quest for power. Interesting. She is a nervous wreck after experiencing trauma in 105. Clearly. She never acts without prolonged deliberation, even to her own detriment and the harm of those around here, strengthening after a major injury in 108. Sensing a pattern here. Uh, she accepts favors without developing a sense of obligation. Preferring to act as the current situation demands, she seeks out exciting and adventurous situations after a miscarriage in 103. That's sad. Um, and she is conflicted by this because she considers tranquility preferable to tumult conceptual. Acts easily under pressure after surviving major injury in 105. Quick to form negative views about things, tends to avoid crowds. She is brave in the face of imminent danger, prefers to present herself modestly. Noticeable lack of noticeable lack of perseverance. Finds helping others emotionally rewarding a turnaround after experiencing trauma in 104. All of your character development has been trauma. It's probably true for most words, realistically. I mean, you're not getting any happy thoughts from any of this. There, a waterfall thought. Hooray. Fine. Stockpiles, that's what I was doing. Um, so this... Why... Why is there food in here? happening <laughs> they do backpacks go here did everyone empty their backpack into the backpack store pile um these are bags bags have their own place now that's cool right okay so i'm gonna make some stockpiles for our trade goods. And I'm going to make two stockpiles. This is clother output. This thread, this is clothes unlinked. We don't really have a, just a craft output. Let's take crafts. No. Right. Okay, so we do need we need this. Um I'm gonna make two stockpiles. One is going to be gonna call it that big to start with. This will be everything that we trade except for rings, and the other one's gonna be rings. Because those are frequently on the hold. But Uh, let's do this. We'll turn on amulets, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figurines. Large gems are only useful for trading. Not rings, scepters, totems. Um, toys and tools are their own thing we want to keep a hold of, I believe. Um, I like to keep the musical instruments, all of the clothing stays, flasks stay, crutches, codices, paints, backpack. Yeah, okay. Trade goods, except for rings, made of anything. And you accept from anywhere. And you have been. And a couple of wheelbarrows. And another and you are also finished goods but you are literally just rings. need three wheelbarrows for all the rings let's just do let's do one Um, 
you can put that's fine. Um, and then I want to set some links on the roots. Use domain and low boots, of course. Of course. One. How many did you want? You want three. A greedy, greedy count. Yeah. So first of all, let's deconstruct this. Which will inevitably have the effect of you sure you yes that's a df hack confirmation enter yes <laughs> um and these should all just be taken down yeah i want them to sort out the rings um so those all go down downstairs Then our forge. Forge output. So this is this is our kiln output. So it has all of our porcelain junk. It has all of this junk that we will figure out someday. Yeah, just some sort of some weirdness about literally any finished good stockpile can have worn clothing top to it. Seems <laughs> seems unintentional. Um okay, so this can only contain porcelain stuff. But of any kind. And then we're also adding Right, okay. And then, and that's coming from there, and then okay, these are also outputting goodness. So outputting to the bar stockpile because that's where Perlac goes. All this. Cool. Um, but means this needs to come up here and things come out go here and out and day here in theory the rings will there and everything else goes here we'll see if that actually works um i'm also going to name these Trade goods in general. Trade goods rings. And then someone mandated some. Got our gauntlets. We're doing our low boots. Oh, she just demanded gauntlets again. is going we're gonna get some see there's all those oh no this is process plants hmm. i wonder why they're having trouble with that diagnostician by a tree oh wait 
What? Hold on. <laughs> Willow log strikes the diagnostician. You just... Did I make a, uh, a hazard with my... my ramp here? And all the... all the water. Now that we have it all carved, we could just smooth it all. Um, okay. Well, we have some logs up here. Chestnut. And there's the other one. Fish. Yeah, look at all that. Willow, chestnut. I wouldn't call it a hundred logs. Quite a few logs, though. Um, mountain goats giving birth. Things getting me. That's pretty cool. Somebody is fighting. Queen Antoine. Cave crocodiles. That all seems fine. Relatively speaking. I'm really curious about getting attacked by a log, though. Um. Let's smooth what can be smoothed. It just literally slipped. if this actually helps anything. Sure. We're going to want to smooth all this anyway. We'll just go straight over. Let's do it. Um, top files. These all got made. Cool. I don't think any of these have drop specific orders. Double checking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to take these down. And I'm going to turn this into a designation. I'll wait a oh sure. I'll leave it at four, that's fine. My nails. I re randomized my nails. It's hard to really show them on off when my hands are always slightly off screen. Um, but it seems like we are needing more turns than we have. This is Dimple Die. Oh, of course. Also Dimple Die. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have people on the surface because we're popping logs, aren't we? Yeah. So. Hey, 
station them over here for the immediate term. Curious if this is a siege or if it's just six goblins in a trench coat. Looks like it's just six goblins. I'm very okay with. Human peddler wasting zombie. Dwarf monster slayer corrupted stalker. We have quite the uh, quite the population of visitors here. Hmm. I'm glad they can all find a home in Elder Ring. Winter is upon us. assume it's gonna take oh I was gonna say it's gonna take a minute for our our dwarves to muster but here they are <laughs> um, I'm just gonna give them a kill order yeah those six goblins please we're getting some snatchers Naturally, closed van. Here we go. Job's done. Very nice. Someone just run off. Where are you going? Terrified. You didn't even get Moses. This looks fine. You chopped a goblin. Goblin Bowman looks surprised by the ferocity. Axe Dwarf collides with the wrestler. You must withdraw. Wrestler hacks the goblin Bowman in the neck with steel battle axe and it sails off in an arc. And then you must withdraw. Did you decapitate someone so fiercely that you made yourself flee? Is that what happened here? Anyway, <laughs> go back to normal. Hey look, we have catapults. Maybe they'll get used someday. Um, okay, this is... This is... Goat. Cool. Ant people in the caves taking care of the crundles. Better or worse. What are we doing here? We're smoothing. Okay. Continue. Um, this all got done. A bunch of red hanging around. Yeah. I do like to see a busy craft floor. Well, cutting gems. Only one. Only one statue that's not decorated. Cool. Um, and just a random <laughs> forbidden sphere. Okay. Uh, oh, 
And then let's make this a bit bigger. Once we have the room. Um, there is a letter planned. I'm curious about our... Ooh. Who are you fighting? Half Hopper. Baroness Consort. That's a terrible place to be, Baroness. You're not armed with anything, are you? Nope. And yet, where are you now? There. Just hanging out in the trees? How did you get so close without agitating them all? Anyone else who comes down here just launches an entire siege. Hi. <laughs> okay. I guess you uh, are just going to go into the caves. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's... that's all good. Okay. Dock bot. This is... Okay, so far so good. And some, this one's gonna come and grab it now. Floors. Okay. These stockpiles all look fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. Need to make this one bigger. Why not? We got the room. We can check our this oh, these our incinerator pile. Nothing in here that I care about. Just a bunch of teeth. Yep. Okay. We can toss all that. It's on. Are you still in jail? Still in jail. Just keep tantruming. Uh, we probably have more bedroom stuff we can okay. Um, All these beds are placed. Okay, cool. Let's start up here then. One of these are important. Yeah. Furniture. Bed. Use clothes and stuff. And then there's a couple chests missing.
like him. These too. Blam. How's that for bedrooms? Slowly but surely. Um, I've given them a lot of move stuff top orders, so I'm gonna let them kind of work a little bit. Got some dig orders going. Baron of Farm Urns. Okay. Did our messenger ever do a thing? Make request. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This no messengers. One messenger here. Okay, cool. You're you're out there. Neat. You want to come back? <laughs> Remove. And then what about this one? No. Missions. No. Can't. I can only click on my holdings. For things that aren't part of my... You click on it and it makes a mission. Okay. Um, we're gonna want to do that soonish, I think. Curious how our squads are doing with their equipment. Um, still wearing one boot, I see. Hmm. Probably okay. Look at all this activity. Organize. Organize all the things. smooth pretty quick. Should be much less water. Random food on the ground. Okay, well. Both these got made. I start working on it. Working on the logs. get there. Yeah. 
what? Okay. Now the cavefish people are actually attacking. I'll have to make it through these traps. Cool. Throw yourselves against the metal traps. I'm very okay with this. Collect webs every time. Nope, yeah, leave please. Um, uh, I'll have to keep an eye on some of you. Hopefully, our soldiers show up. They're nowhere near. Right. I mean, they could be coming from the other side as well. Right. There's... Where's my stuff? Oh. Yeah. They can come across here. Move into here. But I don't see them yet. Okay. Well... We have fish in the fortress. Ease. I have to make some more traps there. Oh, they're coming up. I think we're gonna need to do some kill orders here. Uh, you for sure. Is there nothing else? Oh, here they come. Good. How oh, is that? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So they're going to come down here. Kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one. And then also the rest of them. Oh, they killed a dog. Mm. Dog. Dog child? He killed a puppy. Great puppy falls over. Hi! Yeah, you're just in time. <laughs> oh, man. Like three dogs that they just killed. Okay, well, also soldiers are showing up. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Well, now you need to station down here because they're just gonna keep. They are cleaning up though. If no one dies, you get a pizza party. Wow. Lawless, aside from the dogs. Cool. Smoothest incursion yet. Um... I want to make sure there aren't any more just hanging out out here, since that's a thing they do. Seems to be fine. Okay. As you were. Um, I'm going to put some more weapon traps here while I'm thinking of it, because they are 
poorly getting used. Mechanism. Like bronze balls. And where's my discs? Scimitars, silver halberds. People show up with weird stuff. I'll shore that up just a little bit. Um, and of course, we have all this junk. Really too bad they refuse to eat sentient things, because I'm sure fish people are delicious. Okay. Dumped all that stuff. We've dumped all this stuff. Oh, I had a thought about this. I think um, I set these up to try to link remove the link I want them to take I want them to remove the rocks from this and put them in here. Um, but I think linking them doesn't quite work the way that I did it. Um, because this stockpile doesn't have rocks enabled, because I want them to remove them. But I don't think the link will move something out of a stockpile if that thing can't be in that stockpile to begin with, if that makes sense. Uh, petition. Sure. Mech goes rustled, russet blooded, russet blooded. Wants to join, sure. Um, we're making stuff. We're killing puppies. We are doing okay. We had three of those people. Three of our soldiers went into a martial trance for that combat. No wonder. Um, but I'm going to mark a bunch of this for dump in. Um, but not the wheelbarrow. Is that all of them? Over there. Anyway, um, we're making stuff, we're making glass. I was thinking about expanding this. Well, mostly you just need to get your stuff out of here. Why aren't you? You should be accepting all the things. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, cool. We got flux down here. We have sand down here. You just grabbed something. Okay. Goodbye. Um, 
yeah, that all seems to be going okay. Mostly digging right now. Oh, I bet I bet I have a bunch of doors I can place. Puts them in. Um, and then for doors, seems fine. This is all fine. Put here. Ooh. Oh, oh, heel tiles and cat. can make a guild hall for everyone. Well, and we're digging a library. Um, all the process plant jobs are still checked, but they're still completing or making clothes. it's hard to know if there is a problem. There's a... Um, okay. So, build halls. I'm gonna pull up the list. The references are good. Um... Okay. Oh... Captain of the Guard, throwing a tantrum, possessed. Throwing a tantrum because you're possessed. Okay, well, let's make, make a memorial to you, I guess. All these rock jobs. Um, as Miss Timor. I hope you being possessed by an angry ghost doesn't become a problem. No, not the ghost. Fortunately, you're naked. <laughs> it does. I don't, I don't think it's very pleasant. Yeah. Well, and this doesn't seem to be a strange mood possession. This seems to be a ghost that is not entombed possession. Usually, if you're, if you're possessed in the strange mood sense, there's no actual ghost. You're just possessed in the general sense. Like, we're possessed by that ghost specifically. I don't think this is even a strange mood. I think it's just a naughty ghost. Um, what was I just doing? I was down here. I was working on Guild Hall. See, that's... That's a strange mood. When did I put that job in? Did that already get done? Let's come down here. Um, 
lab. Nope, 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 nope. Let's try. Um, oh, I had a thought. A thing occurred to me off screen. No, oh, we do have one. Okay. We just lost two exalted bales last stream. I couldn't remember if I accident if I actually replaced it both times. Anyway. Uh Brain, what are you doing? Are you worshiping? Meditating on art. All the doors being placed. I'm gonna pause this for a second just because things are gonna keep happening. Uh, but I have two. I have stone worker and the metalsmith. And I want the rest, which means minor. Um, these are meeting areas. Oh, not. Yeah, accept. And you are a guild hall for miners. The Tower of Granite. That's a good name. Um, the Sienna Rock is for our metalsmiths. And the mine of crests is for our stone workers. Now we need a woodworker. Oh. Yep. Make a new guild hall for woodworkers. And then another. Uh, we have stone worker. We can do ranger. Sure, why not? Ranger. That covers animal caretaking, hunting, trapping, animal dissecting. Um, we have Metal Smith. Yeah. We don't have Jeweler. Let's make a Jeweler. Ooh, new build hall for. Jewelers? Jewelers. We have four jewelers. Get a guild hall anyway. Craft dwarf? Surely we have a bunch of craft dwarfs. Nineteen. We not have. Is that the one that we have here? Metalsmith. Miner. Stone worker. Did I fail to make them a guild hall when they wanted one before? I don't remember that. We have Woodworker Ranger, we have Stoneworker. Okay, well, clearly we don't have one for you, even though you should have one. All of Guild. Hmm. Or no, they had 19 members, yeah.
weird. Um. Well, they have one now. Um, so after Craft Dwarf is fishery. We do fish a lot of things, so sure, why not? Fishery worker, the parent one. Yeah, because I have. Okay. The rosy lizard bud. Um, and then just a couple more. We have farmer, which we not already have a farmer. Uh. New guild hall. Yeah, around here somewhere. There we are. So they must have one of the ones up here. Uh -huh. Where are things? We have we have three. There's the Farmer's Guild Hall. There's the Craft Dwarf Guild Hall. And the Planter Guild Hall. Okay. Um, in theory, I could... I could make these new Guild Halls parts of the same locations. I think I'm just gonna... It's just... It's all just messy. Um... You become a thing, you did not become a thing. So, new guild hall for farmers. Somewhere. What is that? <laughs> Where'd it go? Farmer hall. The Desert of Suns. And then we have engineers. And we have. Yeah, okay. We'll do these. Except. New guild hall. It does. What did I just say? Engineer. Engineer. One or no, that was engraver. Uh, sure, <laughs> engravers can have a guild hall. How do I only have one? I have more than one engraver. That's kind of interesting. Oh well, um, I made space for extra for a reason. and then new guild hall and then we want engineer somewhere I have no idea what order these show up in engineer and then the last one is doctor in here somewhere for sure. Witcher. Is it all the way at the bottom? It's all the way at the bottom. Or only one way one away from needing a guild for them anyway. Past decency. It's the And then Planter was the other one that we have. But you are a new 
guild hall for the planes. Point. Pearl of births. Um, okay. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, but I'm going to let them continue placing doors and digging the library, and I will be right back. Something happened. Oh, ban on rings, I'm sure. Of course. Okay. The other thing I want to do to all of these by default, only guild members can come to the guild hall. I'm thinking of just opening all of them up. Everyone, agree to build guild hall. These need to be some of the, I need to make them better, obviously. Um, but we can do that with some statues. Um, but now that we're getting ourselves established, I want to have, I want to attract some brainy people. Um, oops. Like, you know, one one person in a guild, maybe there'll be a, a visitor who can come in and give, like, a demonstration of some kind. I don't know if it actually works that way, but we'll find out. My guard captain. Um, good. I'm going to place some statues. These are pretty decorated, right? Yeah. I think like four of these decorated statues in a, in a guild hall. Probably. That's plenty. Uh, F2, trying to select, even like two, there, put to rest. You like this. And, uh, Marslan, Marslan. Um, 
Cool. That'll, that'll make those pretty nice. Jeez. Uh, you claimed a magma forge. We're collecting things. We're throwing stuff away. One, this one's the one. Took you a while to grab that log, didn't it? That's fine. point I just need to let them do the job I asked them to do. Look at all this. All our, our trade goods are here. Cool. None of it are rings, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Was garbage. Oh yeah. Bunch of sand here too. Hmm. I don't think I have enough space down here for all my sand. Set up. I have an output. And then I don't know. Do I need to link you to the one two? Is that the thing? another sand stockpile there's a raw good which means it goes down here now that I've <laughs> filled it all up yeah, you don't need to be quite that big Furniture stockpile. I can just take sand bags. Easy enough. Furniture and bag. Um. 
And then you give turn on this one. Right? You can accept from anywhere. You can accept from anywhere. Now there's a space for them to go. Look! A glass. Excellent. You're still collecting things, aren't you? to turn some of these melters into glass for me. Hmm. Also, are we making more statues? We are. Cool. You all doing? Praying. Praying to the stable. Meditation art. Cool. And then in here, nobody. Those all got placed. That's cool. The crown recluse spider. Cool. On our libraries, Doug. Look at that. Here. close. I wonder how many bookcases. Probably not many. I make just entirely like marble. What's our stone stock set? Stones. We have a thousand marble. Oh, look at all this gold and silver too. Neat. Um, I could probably also do granite, right? Somewhere. Granite, 742. Let's make a bunch of granite bookcases. Um, so each of these little lines will get six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So 16 times three. Six, mm, no. 16 times six. 96. Let's make a hundred. Please make for me bookshelves. Bookcase. Sorry. Hundred made of granite. 
I'll do that once and be done. Oh, I should've... Eh. That's fine. Um, we also want chairs and tables and... Uh... Chests in here. Do... Something like this. Marble. We'll want some more of those in. chest. And then it's craft dwarf. We're working on it. Um, dwarf fighting downstairs. Now, come back up here. Craft dwarf. Yes. Um. We'll deal with that in a minute. Oh! Gosh. Okay. Finishing this thought first. Workshop. Uh, they do with a craft. Crafts. Crab crafts. Look, it's like entirely made out of car uh, marble. Excellent. This whole floor is just marble. So good. Um, you are fine. Um, look, socialize. You are a stone cutter in the Fishery Worker Guild. 
Because why not? Um, right. Forgotten Beast. Sath. Single name. That means we're screwed, right? Great sauropod composed of water. Has large mandibles and has a gaunt appearance. When you're down there. Okay. That means you're just gonna find a bunch of ant people. <laughs> yes. Share. It is finding something. What did it just kill? Grand Cave Toad. Okay. I'm curious if being composed entirely of water makes you, like, invincible or very fragile. That's one of those. Oh, there, fighting some manned people. Was that it? That's it. Done. Well, extract strikes the cave toad in the neck. Okay. We made quick wo quick work of, of a couple things. Forgotten beast phrase a glob. Misses. Okay, they're both jumping away from each other. Forgotten Beast charges at the Queen Ant Woman Spear Woman. Queen Ant Woman Spearman. Punches a Forgotten Beast in the right front leg with her second left hand, and it severs off in an arc. There's a giant Ulm in there, too. Just. Okay. Yeah. Queen Ant Woman Spearman stabs a forgotten beast in the head with tower caps with a wooden spear. You just decapitated a forgotten beast with a wooden spear. I don't care if it was made of water, that's still impressive. Oh, but that's that's one more taken care of. Um, that's all going. That's all doing that. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. We are lowly cleaning up. Um, I have a hunch that clothing jobs are what take a lot of time, so I'm just gonna make some more clothers. Where'd he go? Granite, where'd you go? try doubling our clothes or our clothers see if that helps this is starting to get dug um more bedrooms always more bedrooms good Okay. Just...
board. Uh, okay. More bedrooms. Oh, why did that... Okay. Um, but that puts us at 25, 50, 100 bedrooms. You need to clear your stuff out here. Begun mysterious construction. Right? Cool. These are our crafts. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, it's got a thing in it. Okay. Cool. Cool. In theory, none of these are rings. Yeah. Here. Oh, look, Panda showing up. And on export. Oh, cool. What else we got? We're slowly digging up here. Very cool. Um, I do want to carve. Metalsmith found dead. What happened? I trimmed my metalsmith. Man egg. Who let you out? Zahn. Does Zahn need to be kicked out? Punches the bareness of grizzle orbs. You're still at it, aren't you? Where are you, Zahn? Planter has calmed down. Well. You're just going back in jail, aren't you? You're still here. I don't want to just have to expel all of my chronic tantrumers, but they keep murdering people. Just got plenty of miners. Legendary Mark's Dwarf. Cool. Here are planters. The legendary planters. Hmm. That could be. Um. Everybody's stone cuts. 
only some people in grave. No one halls. Here's my smiths. Uh, okay. Fine. Ooh, lots of dwarven wine. Jeez. Okay, that's all fine. I'm tempted to start unbedrooming some of these. People move downstairs. Created Med Med Medzamnith. A bulging bronze breastplate claims it as a family heirloom. Interesting. bedroom anymore. Uh, this will this will cause some jobs. People get all their stuff moved. All their worn out clothing. Whatever. Maybe I'll do that off screen. You want quivers again. Do quivers have size? Theory we have digging happening somewhere. There's some happening here. Um, we finished here. That's all cool. Oh, they're just gonna eat. You have such a better place to eat. Go ahead and call this a library. It's gonna be a new library. The Vault of Sabres. That's cool. All visitors welcome. Best in common area, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and make a scribe. Adequate wordsmith. You're a doctor. You are already, you're a scribe elsewhere. For you for sure. 
Vault of Savings. That'd be more appropriate, maybe. Dabbling Reader. Dabbling Word. This one's just dabbling. We have a pretty illiterate fortress currently. Uh, wordsmith and writer different? Doesn't seem so. Um, elf poet. I don't want to do my planters. Well, they only have... <laughs> uh... Surgeon is fine. I'll leave the. I'll make sure the doctor can do doctor things, but maybe the surgeon. Will. And then scholars, legendary observer, or manager. Our manager can be a scholar. Why not? Chief medical dwarf. You're already a scholar, so we'll. Keep that. You are a legendary observer. Mechanic. Why is mechanic and observer like the only scribe thing? Diagnostician. Everyone fancies themselves a mechanic. Professional observer. We'll we'll start with two. We'll start with two. Um, that'll just get people not eating food in here. You should be eating food in the better place. It's like right here. The food's right there too. You had to. Go out of your way to bring food here. Seriously. Why does that happen? Why do they always get rapture just in a Yeah? That could be. Um, we have more statues, surely. One more glass. How much glass do we have? Three. Ooh. Bunch. More visitors. F. Zanag. Now I'm unclear if someone makes something and claims it as an heirloom. Do I display it? What's it called? Breastplate made of bronze called Memotisseth. Uh, which makes it armor. Boy, and he's too big. Uh, bronze, but the bulging bronze one's going to be different. Bronze metal shirts. Oh, I need to make more steel metal shirts. Bismuth ones. Boots of dingo leather armor. And it is down here. Here it is. It's at the bottom. <laughs> I should know better. Okay. Display it. Uh, we should also place more pedestals because we filled our pedestals. If 
we have more. We do have more. Um, start with inside. Space four pedestals. It'd be cool if they could figure out how to smooth underneath these. I won't have to move them. Um, I want to start taking these out. I think we're probably doing okay up here. We're digging. We're, just, we're digging. Um, oh, and you're going to get stuck down here, aren't you? Uh, um, this needs to be slightly secure. We'll do something like this. We need to do rough white oak. We'll put some traps in there. This all got carved. Cool. What are you doing? I usually like separate out the armor and the weapons and the ammo into different stockpiles, but I'm just going to do a big one here. Armor, all. Weapons, all. Ammo. This will accept everything and it will give to our melt stockpile. So anything that we do want melted will go down there. Anything that's not will go up, stay up here. Make sense? I think that makes sense. Um, and then our melt stockpile is here, so you will give here a from me here. I think that's what's going on. Um, so I'll let them continue digging for a little bit. Holy cow. Oh, the... Hmm. I wish I could just go back one screen. It's like when you you right click and it dismisses the whole thing. Every time. Anyway, um, the rest of this is garbage. Hey, look, another tantrum. Look at all this. Oh. I told you not to have barrels, though. Well, I'll let it figure out eventually. OK. 
Okay, they're, they're working on it. Someone, someone tantrumed over <laughs> one of these, didn't they? Granite sitting right here. Why is it so? Also, think about power. settle down our... I want to get other things figured out. And then my last little bit is right under here. I'm going to... channel. Find Cave Ogre. A mosquito. Okay. You coming to dig? That was quick. Uh, construct floor. Oh, I have twenty more. No. Check on my knees. I don't know if we have more porcelain statues yet. No. We have more made, but they haven't been decorated yet. Okay. So we should have a standing order to just make more now that we've placed them all. Maybe. Or, oh, there's things here now. Control O, sort. My goodness. How oh, did it sort it? Um, okay. Clothing. Bed. I want to search. Fire. Play statue. Oh, it's it's going. It's active. Yeah. Play stones. Yeah. Perfect. So that will just continue. We'll make some more statues, and then we will encrust them, and then we will place them.
you doing? You're not eating in here, are you? It really is a testament to how realistic this game is, since I want to put a no eating sign in the library. Why is that a problem? <laughs> Why is that a problem everywhere? Another tan. On. Look, I haven't even convicted you of your last one yet. I don't, they shouldn't be eating while snacking. It's not how this works. Uh, here's where I was, and then, I mean, it's fine. I think it's partly because, well, meeting room, meeting areas and dining halls are different. When not assigned to particular citizens without their own dining hall, will eat here. Tables and adjacent chairs should be included. It's a, it's a library. It just happens to have tables in it. A required... Oh. Why do you need... Oh, you were in the hospital, too. We have quite the, uh, the turnover in this fortress, don't we? on, wasn't it? You... Oh. Wait. That ha Did you punch someone in the hospital? It's on. as permissive as I can be. Um, you're all just eating in here. Except now I don't know. Jugs. Oh, these need to not take work order. Okay, <laughs> finish that off and then, and then stop, please. Now, bookcases. Oh, 
we'll get it started. No. And then no more. These should be made here. See, that makes sense. Um, making booze. What Elder Lord? Oh no. You weren't fighting. We have, we have accidentally banished our Elder Lord from our lands. Hmm. Uh, that's unfortunate. Queen. Oops. Hold on, where are you? feel anything at the unexpected death of somebody. Doesn't feel anything at somebody's death. Well, I'm glad this isn't a bigger problem for you, but geez. <laughs> well, our queen's a bachelorette, I guess. Unmet need excitement. Need to make sure to make temples to your gods. Um, oh, I need to make sure not to leave this just an open chasm for too long. Construct floor. and Scarlet Lee Institutions. I haven't. Um, I think a lot of our the nearby Scarlet Lee Institutions are going to be like Necromancer Towers. Which doesn't bode well. I'm um, just making sure I didn't strand anyone down here with my designations. Doesn't look like I did. I don't think they would have been able to get all the way down. He's here. So gross. Um, okay. So that's fine. And then we can place this last statue. We had... Decorated. We have... Four porcelain ones, and we have one silver... and then you just repeat until it's done. That's all I need to do. I wonder... Does this become... No, it's the queens. The king is going to get, like, one of these. <laughs> He's just going to have to be okay with that. 
Elder Lord. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. <laughs> Filled by dehydration. Queen felt nothing. What are you doing? What are you outpost liaison? You fell in. Why are you here? You fell out of a tree, didn't you? The visitors to my fortress really like hanging out down here in the trees. Um, so the beast made of water is, on to my knowledge, Um, I'm actually draining. I'm not draining here. I'm too smooth. That's true. Remote dehydration? That would be quite the trick. Queen really just watched her husband die and was like, I need more rings. That would be quite terrifying. Cool. No one stuck out here or anything. That was the... This one. Now, like you... Now they're coming to grab all of his stuff. He fell out of a tree, didn't he? Baroness is fighting. Patches the dingo. Who are you? Human mercenary wasting zombie. Saving Baron Nish from a dingo. Now oh, that's a scene. curious about <laughs> this mercenary wasting zombie. Seven children. Hmm. Has a deep well of patience, a good memory, a good kinesthetic sense, and a way with words, but she has a lousy intellect. Probably comes from being dead quite polite. She tends to hang on to her grievances. Isn't given to flights of fancy. Often cheerful, tends to be passive in discussions, generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. Doesn't often feel envious of others. Very humble. Tends to avoid crowds. A friendly individual. Somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live differently from herself. She has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others, is grateful when others help her out, and tries to return favors. Hmm. Didn't feel anything. Well, thank you for saving the Baron. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. 
got all these injured people. Um, okay. So I am going to replicate these work orders downstairs. They are just making choirs and binding books. I'm going to disassemble this zone. And also these. Are these all decorated? These are all decorated. Yeah, okay. Um, let's undo these, since they're downstairs now. And... And take back our... statues. What is forbidden here? A random sock. hope that my stuff downstairs is fancy enough. Um, look at this. It is a guild hall. That's not the one... The armor one. Fishery. Armor guild. They're not upset with me. Maybe we're fine. Um, to make everything symmetrical. Um, but I'm also going to give a smooth order for all of this. Why not do all of this? Won't be priority, but we'll, we'll work on it. And then we can start engraving. And then we should check our digging upstairs. This looks like it's essentially dug. Cool. Um, I'm going to do small temples next. Which is all this. This is for wells. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave out the actual well part. But we can put them there if we want to. The rest of this is what I actually care about. some doors. Uh, Let's do doors go. Oh no! I'm missing... Missing thing. You need to be convicted of that for sure. Saw that it was missing. Grand the statue, yeah. Um, no one knows anything. Hmm. 
now. Entrance grade. Just gone from here immediately. gone too far, right? Hmm. How does something get stolen from the middle of a hallway like that? Most statues don't do that. This one, this one's still here. Killed that one. Way to the stable. Well. One of these days, we'll just clear out all the goblins and take all our stuff back. Um, you're all just gonna smooth all that. That's fine. Oh, and I make a guild hall, Craftdorf Guild. Yes. Ranger. Craftor mm -hmm. agreed to build Guild Hall. But it just needs to be a little fancier. You have two statues. What more do you need? I wonder if I can just prioritize that one. You're socializing. Eating. Okay. So we need a stockpile. I don't need to be too big. Thank you. Um, this is library. Yep. It's slowly getting there. Have you seen my uh my throne room? Probably the part that I'm maybe happiest about. Still in progress. Uh, but we have a glass floor to our throne room, so you can see the caves below. You can see through the floor. Very happy with that. Slowly making more glass. Another five. Onward. Saving. But yeah. Uh, mostly just making things nice and trying to make people happy. Back down to single digits and, and grumpy people. Our tantrums have been... a thing. Our king consort just died of thirst. Really not sure what happened, but the queen is fine. He doesn't care. <laughs> um, well, I'll let this accumulate some more glass again, but 
Um, our, our fancy throne room complete with encrusted, gem encrusted sterling silver statues, because sterling silver is what our queen likes. And this is our artifact storage. And then these are uh, our two big temples. And now we're working on digging out a bunch of little shrines for, for gods. Oh, uh, my library. Is that like it cleared out the moving bits? Weird. Um, but these stockpile are for writing materials. How does this work? I want paper. I honestly don't know what's going on. Sorry, playing paper. Well, stick around. Um, I tend to talk to myself while I go. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I really like this game. Part of the vid is figuring things out as you go. And I've been figuring it out for a little while now. Um, I haven't played consistently for a super long time, but I've been playing Dwarf Fortress on and off since, oh, maybe 10 years ago. It's been a little while. Um, so this, this has been, my brain has looked like Dwarf Fortress for, for quite a while. <laughs> I have to say that. Um, our paper is here. I definitely want those. Um, I was I played with a, a a texture pack exclusively. I never got the hang of of the ASCII graphics. There are some people who even still swear by the ASCII graphics, but it is it is a bit too much for me. Um, sheets. I want to put book bindings. Where do those go? Codices, codices. Those should go on. Well, maybe we maybe we'll put them in here. So if they don't end up on a bookshelf, then they at least end up in the library. Uh, book finding a furniture? No. Research. to do a little bit of googling for that. Libraries can be a little finicky. <laughs> um, at least mine has been. Hey look, we smoothed it. You still need more quality? You still... Oh no, you're fine. I have satisfied... Hopefully. Does it say it somewhere? Build Hall Agreement with a Hall of Guild has been satisfied. We just needed a smooth floor. Also, just still don't know why they really don't like smoothing underneath things. Oh well. Continue there. Um, digging continues. Bomb wreck general. The second time I've seen a, a general. I was curious what that means. Annoyed when caught in the rain, of course. Your son is a baron, not our baron, but a baron. Your third eldest son is here, and sixth eldest daughter. Oh. Did I just? 
weird. Um, change the game speed. So, not directly. Um, the game generally runs as fast as it can, and that speed is dictated by a lot of stuff that's happening. So the reason my fortress is going slower than yours is because uh, of a lot of factors, realistically. Um, just size. Too much stuff. Um, I have so much garbage to take out. Um, but like under at the oh, down at the bottom here, you can see my frames. You can you can turn this on. I think this is off by default, um, but you can have this displayed. Um, oh, you can cap it. Actually, I lie. I'll show you. Uh, go into here, and then the graphical FPS cap. Uh, maximum interface percentage. What does that mean? Um, I think this is the main one. <laughs> um, if you lower this frame cap, then it will it'll keep you from going over that cap. So we're like at 150, 150. Um, those are the, there's like. There's like tick rate, like the where things are actually being calculated, and then there's like the graphical things being updated. Um, so I think I think this is the one you want to care about. But if you lower that, then that should lower the maximum speed. Um, but generally speaking, the game runs as quickly as it can up to that max. So you'll be at your max for a while, and then as your fortress ages. Um, You'll, you'll see the numbers creep down. I'm trying to... I was up at 30 for a while, hoping to creep back up. Um, yeah, there's not, like, the traditional, like, normal speed, double speed, half speed kind of kind of controls. Um, not... It's not that quite that granular, unfortunately. Um, but like this. This is my trash. What? Continuation of my trash pile. Uh, I, yep, all this is actually trash. Um, what I have set up here, this is literally just a, a hatch. I'm hovering above a corner of magma. And it's hooked up to this. I'm going to tell them to pull this lever twice. And that'll drop it and then pull back up and toss all this garbage into the magma. I've done this half a dozen times now. <laughs> we keep getting all these cave fish people incursions in our cave. So I have to keep cleaning up after them. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Mandated construction. What did you want? More boots. Surprise. Um, so these have jobs here. Getting there. So, like, there's all this stuff sitting in. Oh, did I. I linked one of you. Not the other! Okay, so that. That does explain it. So, you're outputting. There. Right? Yeah. Inputting from sand, or outputting to output and empty bit. I just forgot to duplicate that here. We are inputting from sand, and we are outputting the bags. Okay. Why did? Why are there leak seeds here? <laughs> um, 
Getting everything sorted and organized is kind of what's happening right now. Um, this is my craft floor. It's on. Or... I just saw that I was missing here. Still, I still haven't played RimWorld. I know everyone, that's like the, the common comparison between the two games. But I, I got into Dwarf Fortress before I was aware of RimWorld being a thing. So I just, I just, I never bothered. Um, here it's good, but it's always been like, why would I learn RimWorld when I have Dwarf Fortress? And it's already everything I want it to be. Um, we're decorating statues. Hey, look. Porcelain statue, porcelain statue. How'd you get in here? You're not decorated. Or no, you are decorated. It's not very well. Okay. We can have mediocre statues, that's fine. Well, and then you are decorated. Mm. They don't always seem to uh, obey their links the way that I want them to. Elven diplomat. Okay. They're gonna yell at us for cutting down trees, aren't they? That's what I've heard. Like the main thing is that you can't dig, right? It's just the one one level. Yeah, Decorated porcelain statues. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, that is... That is kind of the best part. able to like I don't know you have so much control over the map here I feel like my fortress is huge and sprawling and, and fancy and I've taken up a very small percentage of, of the space that's actually available to me we got our bookcases I wonder if we have any actual books here written objects too Excellent. Chests, writing materials. Oh, nice. I do like 30. Um, okay, so in theory, people are able to do library things. All of these just got B bins. Didn't need to put them in as individual paper pieces of paper. Nothing to do on the map, and just leave it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, losing is fun. Is is kind of the our 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 time honored tradition. Um, you can definitely run out of things to do on a map. Probably takes a lot longer. Um, 
I found, like on this one, I found two... Oh, thanks for the follow. I found two of my cave layers, but I haven't found the third one yet. Um, so there's potential for more stuff down there. And then there's... Uh oh Of course, there's the things that are below the caves. Oh, here we go. I'm being invaded again. Cavefish people. I haven't even cleaned up from the last one. Um, but we have some traps here, so they're just gonna... The... Uh, Now they're making it a little further than I want them to. Uh, okay, soldiers, any minute now. Cool. They're making it over my traps more than I want them. But they are also... Missing. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's hitting. Okay. There are people. One of the uh, consequences of my ambitions is for a long while we've kind of had our fortress split into two. Oh, where are they going? Okay, well here's our soldiers. Ours had a kind of an upper fortress where I got settled and then I decided I wanted to move everything down way further and make it bigger and fancier. So we've been kind of split between two fortresses for a while. All of our military stuff is still up at the top. So so we're gonna have to come all the way down. These, um, but they'll make it. And then there, the cave fish are coming even further down. Give one of these squads kill order. Friends down there. Anything going up will get taken care of. Proceed. So they're like goblin sieges. Um, they come. So these these ones came in from off the map. Um, I don't think you can eradicate their population on like a world map sense. Um, it's also increasingly difficult to eradicate them in the immediate map sense. Um, like, I'm pretty sure that these all just came in from off the map right here, like just now. But we also have... There's more. <laughs> these have just been hanging out. I am slowly draining the cave. Um, you can see this is all like at three. Threes and twos. Um, I'm draining it up there trying to drain the lake so that because the cavefish people they'll like sit under the water on the edge invisible like a as an ambusher and then someone will come by to gather a, a cobweb and the fish person will pop out of the water and either like stab them with a spear or they both end up in the water and then stab them with a spear and it doesn't go well for the dwarves very often so i'm trying to take their home field advantage away by draining the entire fort which, A, is taking forever. <laughs> I've just been draining for uh, several streams at this point. Oh man, there's a lot getting through. Mm-hmm. That's more fortress for you. Here we go. The cavalry has arrived. Thank goodness. Lawless. 
Um, the other is still... Okay, those are good. Your, your kill order has been satisfied, so that means you got them all. Gonna make sure nothing else slipped by without me seeing. I think we're okay. Um, this is down. Then up. I think anything snuck by. Okay. I think we made it out of oh, another... I have them stationed out here just in case there's any more stragglers. That was pretty good. Our, the second time we've had a incursion like that and not lost any soldiers. That's mostly what I'm happy about. Those cavefish people are no joke in numbers. They keep having like one soldier will show up first and they just get surrounded. It doesn't matter how well equipped they are. It doesn't matter how good they are. If you're getting stabbed 15 times, you're gonna die. So them all showing up in groups like that is, is definitely the way to go. Now we have to clean all this up. Um, but that, it, we seem okay. Another another incursion dealt with. Now everyone's gonna come and try to grab all their stuff. Pretty sure that my entire throne room sta stash of silver statues it comes from like melted cave fish people spears. Yeah, look at all that. Uh, two of them were in a martial trance. Very nice. Someone wanted something. Our duke wants boots. Okay. All right. Two low boots. Okay. And I'll claim all this stuff. Mostly bones and body parts. Oh. Resume. Because they're coming to take the stuff that's on top of it. Did I ever deal with all this? There's still a bunch of body parts laying around. Okay. So you're growing leeks for the queen. You never got constructed. For some reason. Um, these are above ground seeds, right? Pools of blood. Uh, most likely mud, but there's... no, there's blood. Yeah, that's blood. <laughs> this is our, our primary entrance for a long time. I might, I might close this now. Let's close... Close the old entrances. people to go through our little gatehouse here. Um, I have little catapults on some little towers. They're not going to do anything. I think they're mostly for show at this point. Because uh, catapults don't work quite the way that I expected them to. I think a catapult can look down at something and shoot like that. I think it doesn't work that way. Um, but we also have the spots for, for Mark's dwarves to patrol around, so they are cool. Greetings from the woodlands. Yeah, they want me to stop. Want me to stop chopping, but they, this is the third time they've asked and nothing bad has happened. So I'm gonna say no. 
Um, they are also here to trade. Weapon traps. Yes. There's... <laughs> Weird. Um, trading. That was the thing. Did they actually make it to our new trade depot? They did. Hooray! Uh, trading some my crafts. Hmm. Did it? Did you try to give them a wooden barrel or a wooden crate? If you, if you give them a pile of crafts on their own, it's usually fine. But if the crafts came inside of a wooden bear, wooden bin, I don't like the bin. I think muscle shell should be fine. I, memory serves. They mostly just don't want. They don't want to buy their. They don't want to buy wood. I know they definitely don't want to buy wood. Um, the things made from creatures in general. I think they also have. Kind of a thing about. Yeah. Classic. Classic Dwarf Fortress elf problems, I gotta say. You, you try to sell them a thing in a bin? I didn't like the bin. Literally happens to all of us. All this food! And, and bags. I'm gonna have to make all these stockpiles bigger. Oh man. Good problems to have. This is this is supposed to be all the <laughs> having troubles with getting them to respect links and yeah. Um. Oh, a scholar is visiting. Maybe I'll go to the library. This is sand. Oh, do these, I wonder if the elves sell sand. Of course, my mayor is my broker. I always have to wait on him. I wish I could see what you have. I guess it's all this, isn't it? Mostly food. have any sand already. No. Bugs. Yeah, no. Sand pears? Can I make glass out of sand pears? Uh, yeah. Screw it. I don't care. Okay, um... Let's check on this! Oh, hooray! We have dug a whole bunch of shrines. Excellent. I'm gonna put doors in. No, oh, just close this. In there. Oh, 
So the altars don't actually have a function yet, is my understanding. Um, but, so I'm gonna, I'm placing a meeting area, right? It's a little, a little funky because we're encroaching here. Um, but once I've made the meeting area, then I can go into the location thing. This is the, this is the really important part, if you haven't seen that one yet. Um, but I'm going to make a new temple. I'm going to... Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, we have 76 worshippers to the god of trickery. Take that for what you will. Um, but yeah, so then you just go... You come in here, and I'm going to dedicate it to a bunch of these. Um, this bluish color means that it's just a a god or like the stable. I've seen some people praying to the stable, um, but then the the yellow ones are religions. Um, so currently we have one large established religion. It should be in here somewhere. Denomination of Whispering. Um, is they worship the god of trickery. So there's. There's like 37 people who are within the church, and then another 40 people who worship that god but aren't a member of that religion. So I'm gonna make a church, make a little shrine for the god, and we have a bigger place for, um, like this place over here is for that church because they're so huge. Um, and then this one is to no specific deity, which is the top top option up here. You should definitely always have, it. at the very least, very 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 least, you should have a shrine dedicated to no specific deity because they can they can pray to whoever in a in a nun not dedicated temple they can pray to any god they want they just won't get as happy of a thought as they would if they prayed in a dedicated temple you'll see different thoughts for like um, i was happy because i prayed to etur in a dedicated temple or um or they or they get a bad thought for not being able to pray to their god in a de dedicated temple for too long um so that's why I'm coming in and making little shrines to all the other gods. I went through and counted how many gods have five or more worshippers, I think, is what I did. Um, and I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna make enough for, for all of them. Um, but then that, so th that's all you have to do to make this shrine work. This is a, a meeting hall that is designated as a temple to a god with nothing in it, literally just an empty room, and people will still come in here to pray. Um, then you benefit from making it nicer, but they won't demand that it's nicer. Like our religion, our church, they demanded that their space be of a certain value. Um, they also demanded that they had me assign a, a, a priest for them, basically. Um, but look, this 29k in here, because I've engraved it all. So they're happy. Um, but they'll they'll make demands like that. But the, the normal god, like this is just a shrine to a god. No one's going to demand that it gets better. But they'll still, people will still benefit from it being better. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep doing this. And that. And yeah. So then you, new location, new temple. Um, Legion Walk Trade, the Wayward. Temple of Trading. Well, um, something happened. Zon, are you in jail? You're in jail. You can tantrum in jail if you want. Training session. You're training in jail. That's actually cool. <laughs> I've never seen that. He's doing push-ups on the on his jail cell. Uh, okay. That all happened. 
I'm going to let this tick while I keep designating things. Fortresses were an animal. Oh. Look at that. Weird. Um. Okay. Of course, there's a ton of them. Hey, mood. Hooray. I'll take it. Just did Osig, so now Gomas the Silvery. Well, these should be easier. Oops. Yeah, this button. Still <laughs> rewiring my muscle memory from previous versions. So this is to Domas. This is a new temple to Tor. God of Metals. Umber Sanctum. See now, okay, now they're demanding a better farmer's guild hall. Which I think we can do without too much trouble. Craft dwarf. Is I had to use the hotkeys. Yeah, um, mouse input was like a big deal when it happened. <laughs> um, there's been partial mouse input for a little while, and then of course there's all like DF hack and all the different expansions and, and add-ons and stuff have done things. And killed all. So I just need to I just need to double the value of this place. That's all. Um. Let's just prioritize you. See where that gets us. Um, but yeah, my, my muscle memory is all about like the arrow keys and pressing combinations of keys. Like you do like press B to build and then capital C for construction and, and yeah, it was Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a thing. The the WASD controls here are just like still mind blowing to me. It was yeah you do you use the arrow keys to move around, but the, those were also navigating menus. Um, but also just like this, this still breaks my brain. Being so convenient, you scrolling and like zooming in used to break everything. <laughs> it was not. Like, it would resize how many tiles were on the screen. It didn't, like, actually zoom in, so it would, like, re... Like, resize itself in tiny little increments as you zoomed in, and you could never get it back to where it was. Um, so, this is much better. Anyway. More temples. Except... You were for... A tour. Now you are for that ham. Whoever that is. And you. Death and rebirth. Young Sanctum. I guess that works. What? New Temple. Thorin. Minerals and Jewelry.
Temple. Gaggle Grave Death. We only have three. There's a person who worships the god of the sun and a person who worships the god of dawn. Well, it's like there's just one person, courage and murder. Jeez. The absolute sanctuary. Yikes. Um, so I'm going to try to do all the gods that have five or more. Oh, that was not the right button. That was a stop file. And... Not you, Rain. Bit the lamentation of... Ooh. Lamentation of Coils. Weird. Anyway. Run on you, Temple. Loma. I wonder how many gods of death we have. A lot. Except new temple, Lomoth, the stable. I've seen people bring to that one. New temple. Buzz Bell the Strapping. Oh, hi. A cat. Uh, no, I'm a racer. The Abbey of Starting does go. I'm very happy with my automatic cat cam. <laughs> this is Jezebel. Her Jezebel is the name on her collar. Her in our collar the. Her true name is Dork Monster. An artifact bracelet. Excellent. Let's place that before we forget about it. Because that's a thing I will do. Um, you're just going to go over here. Go to bracelets. Yeah. Go down here. I assume it's that one. Uh, no, that's a different one. Be somewhere else. Did I screw something up? Is it called? The Haunts of Eviscerating. What's he made of? Gabra. You. There we go. Okay. Oh, here's where it should be. Rip 
place to stay right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Making sure my artifacts have a home. Um, okay, so we did Buzzbell. New temple. Embrace of Blossoms. Rumors and Fame. The God of Chaos. Death, Blight, Disease, Deformity, and Valor. What if just one or two... Like, see, you'll, you'll never... There's the domino. There's our denomination of whispering. You'll never have shrines for. Right? Yeah. You'll never have enough shrines for for every god in here unless you're really going hog wild. Um. Oh, great. Right. Which is why you want a spot for no specific deity, because. Gorb Twilight Knot, the God of Darkness. Worshippers to the Art of Gambling. Except I have to put more doors in. Do there's Gorb, there's Lil we'll Go. We'll go. Future of Minds. Minds, longevity and youth, death, disease, and blight. Bit track boil cyst. That's a good god name. Ash and Abbey. Have fun. Oh no, she's coming over here. To stand in front of my monitor. There she goes. Just Mater. Someone's praying to Mater. <laughs> Feature of Minds we got. Bit track boil cyst. Lethal barricade. Hotmon yell justice. Order of Oranges. Interesting. The Splattered Coven. Hmm. Is that all of them? I think we're, we're like, caught up. 
Okay, cool. So we have... Uh, no, I want to cancel old place. There we go. So now we have space for another four. Yeah. Space for another four small god shrines. As we continue to expand, we are all up 194 again. Oh, wow. Uh, dwarves. Doing. Mandating. All them. That's all of them. She likes very much to be right in front of the screen. I can't see my... This button. Quivers. Sure. Of course, there's hotkeys for all these menus, but now I don't remember them. Okay. One leather quiver. That's what you wanted, right? One leather quiver. Okay. Look, this is all smoothed. Um, who wanted the fancy? Was you? Armor Guild Hall. You want more? Well, then you just get some engravings. has mandated rings fortunately rings will just happen <laughs> yeah Jezebel's not much of a back climber she's more of a lap hog um not so much when I'm live streaming because I'm kind of more you know trying to be more active and sitting upright, um, but if I usually when I'm just here gaming, especially Dwarf Fortress, when we got my... When I first started playing Dwarf Fortress, Jezebel was a kitten. If that tells you anything, she's like 13 now. Oh my god. Um, but she spent a lot of time while I was playing Dwarf Fortress being completely unconscious in my lap. Um, our... That Great giant cardinal has been here for a while. That was like year one. Jeez. Um. So yeah, she she is a lap monster, not much of a climber. Um, but every once in a while, she will get it in her head that the play, the way to get from here to there is over your shoulder. Don't ask why. So now she's, she's settling down here. I would prefer the, the blockage over the uh, scratches, I would say. And I think I can even... It? There she is. Casper is a good name, too. <laughs> this desk, I got, like, I have the, the keyboard that goes under the desk in, in a slidey thing, so the... Finally got my, my button gear and, and cleared off my desk from all the garbage and stuff, and now it's, it is a cat space. Um, okay. Look at our library. And all the people eating. Oh no, you're reading! You're reading a book in the library! Sorry, this is the first time I've actually observed it in this fortress. What are you reading? 
48 page guide entitled Before the City concerns the town of Rumor Tongs. Oh. You are eating. You are eating. Recluse and the Ungodly Persuaders. One page poem has no particular subject. The writing is depressing and is somewhat showy. Overall, the poetry is very, very bad. Oh, they all just... Okay, cool. Literally, as I came over here to yell at them for not putting stuff in a bin, I came over and put stuff in a bin. Okay. What are you doing? Eating? Under migratory patterns. And eat. I like someone in a chair eating while someone is standing on the table in front of them contemplating scholarly works. What are you doing? You are reading Carpenter's Workshop. These are craft dwarf workshop. This is still this is still stuff I'm working on. Um, but the way libraries work are you know, just a little piece of paper. Um well, let me let me noodle through this real quick. What time is it? It's later than I think it is. Uh, anyway. To make a book from paper, you need to make the paper, which is a process all on its own. Let's see if we can find it here. Mash plant into slurry. Press plant slurry into paper sheet. We're making pigtail paper. We are mashing the pigtails into slurry. All right. Uh -huh. So we're, I think we're just waiting on more plants for that to reactivate. Um, and then the plant slurry into paper sheets happens at a press. So we, that'll only activate if we have less than 20 pieces of paper. So not currently. That's good. So then, so those jobs will happen on our main crafting floor. Because um, that's using main crafting stuff. But once it turns into paper, the paper should come to these stockpiles within our library and then uh, in theory in here somewhere we have another job or two um, we're also making rock book bindings which yeah okay um I need to figure out where those are being stored Blocks, tallow, clothes, shoes, thread, crafts, page. I disassembled. Oh, here we go. Find book. But these, these have been. Yeah, these are these were for specific. Which call them? I had a library upstairs. I had shops that were doing this upstairs, and I assigned those work orders to those shops specifically. I disassembled those shops, and I'm, I have to redo it. Um, it should be... Maybe not. Okay. Well, I'll... There might be something else abandoned in here, but we'll, we'll see. So... These shops are not taking general work orders. They're not taking the normal craft store workshop orders, like making jugs and crafts. Um, so I did that by here. You can fiddle with that. Um, but now I can create work orders for it specifically, which primary thing is making choirs. And a choir 
is basically a couple pieces of paper. Um, here. This is going to be a monthly order. I'm going to... Uh, we want to keep, like... One on one. Let's do, like, 30 quires. Um... Yeah, so this will take pieces of paper and turn them into choirs. That's important because people who write books, they don't write on pieces of paper. Like these paper sheets, these won't get written on. These choirs will be written on. A choir is basically an unbound book. Um, so it's like, you know, a handful of pages put together. So then... The craft dwarf workshop makes the choir out of paper. The choir gets stored in the library zone itself. So in these chests, a scholar will take the choir and write on it, and then put it back. And then once you have a written on choir, you can bind the book. And that takes a written on choir and a book binding. And then you have a book, and then the book goes on the bookshelf. Hopefully. Um. So yeah, I think, I wish I could say, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to like five wires time. Um, but then the other job to add here is find book and then for jobs like this that happen you know kind of in infrequently um so here written on choir and book binding and thread is what you need um i'm just going to do these one at a time So what that will do is every time a written on choir is completed, there shouldn't theoretically be a job that can bind just that one book. I won't have to wait for a handful of books to be created to, to bind them. Huh. And then of course I have to replicate those jobs on these other, these other things, because of course... Mm. Find book. And four shops here is probably like way overkill. Probably get away with one or two. Um, that's not what I meant. And then she's gone. Good. In theory, if I can get this close to where it was. Ah! Magic. And book one. Um, so you are checking monthly any players. Three. Make sure that they're available for people to write on if they want to write a thing. Um, yeah, so you're you're checking monthly, then you you were just checking daily. I think that makes sense. We need one written on choir, one book finding, and one thread. It can be it can be intricate for sure. I have I've definitely noticed that when you get your mind around video games like this, not just Dwarf Fortress specifically, but like any of these really complicated, deep, internetworked kind of games. People who don't play these kinds of games, their brains have a harder time working on things like this that aren't video games. 
one thing I've noticed. It's it's a, it's a whole different way of thinking. It's a very, I don't know, the way that you have to think about the whole, but in details at the same time. Apparently most people don't just do that for fun. <laughs> uh, wire. Five, monthly, 30, and then, nope, nope, new one. Um, but I will say that books and libraries are like one of the more complicated things in this game. I don't, I still don't have all this figured out. You are one. And more. One. The other part is um, scrolls. You could do scrolls instead of books, and those don't require book money. Now, in theory, people should come in here to talk about things and then write things, and then the things will just get stored here. We have a whole three written things in here. Um, okay, well that's that's progress. We have we have our library. We have all of our guild halls. Are you the agreement with the natural guild has been satisfied? That was enough. It just is now worth twenty thousand as opposed to two thousand. That's what legendary engravers will get you. Just ten times the value of a room by carving out the floor. Good stuff there. Um, look. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, we got all these little shrines. And Cruster, yeah. Totally. Oh, people are still just demanding things. Rings are gonna happen. Quivers and lovers. Are doing. I no, I don't have them been out to their own thing yet. Um, or if I will. Anyway, um, I think we're we're wrapping up here for the day. I'm going. I completely lost track of time. <laughs> Went for an hour longer than I meant to. Um, but we're gonna. These are gonna be our new um, nobles quarters. So we'll dig that up next.
turn this all on. Get all that out. And then... To do more bedrooms. We're back up the our population cap. Jeez. Um... But we'll get there. Empty bags. Food. And then up here, there's more to dig. Um, this will be our new hospital. More barracks. Jail cells. Stuff. Here's our... A lot of trap components have made it here. Pretty cool. All our, st our numerous steel low boots, which people still refuse to wear. Who named things? Interesting that they're just in there. Oh, I need to keep forgetting about steel mail shirts. I need to order a couple. Um, we'll, we'll do like 20. Yeah. Don't forget. Um, yeah, look at, I mean, look. We're making progress. We got more glass here. Save and return. We're getting there. Yeah, thank you for, for coming by and thanks for chatting. Um This is what I've been what I've been doing. So uh we'll be continuing. I'll be continuing this fortress on Thursday, same time, noon to four typically, uh Pacific time. And uh, I typically have a Saturday stream, but I won't be here this Saturday specifically. We'll be out of town, um, but join us the following Saturday, and I'll be continuing, hopefully finishing, my Elden Ring randomizer speedrun. That's been nuts. Um, that's been great fun. So come by if you want to see that. Or yeah, I'm on. I'm on the. I'm on the Pacific coast, so. It was kind of my, my purpose, or my intent, was to like be a little earlier in my day, and hopefully I'm in the evening of other people's day. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Thursday Mordor Fortress, and then next week Mordor Fortress, and then on the following Saturday more Elden Ring. Um, check out the YouTube, same username, if you want to see the VODs. This entire fortress's history is in VOD form up there. Um, plus other things, and I recently made a Mastodon account to post, like, when when VODs go up and, and, and stream updates and that kind of stuff, too, so if you want to follow, follow. Um, yeah, that's that's all I got. Uh, have a great, have a great evening, rest of your day, and hopefully your day is ending soon. Um, if not, no worries, but have a good night, you and everyone else.